Hello guys and welcome to my tutorial video regarding our pop-up system. All right, so you downloaded the pop-up system and what now? How can you use it? Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up the pop-up system project and then you're gonna wanna have another project, something like my project. This is just a third person example project. And the first thing you wanna do is that once the pop-up system project opens up, uh, you're simply going to select here inside of the content folder, the pop-up system, you're going to right click that and then you're going to click on migrate and then it's going to select all of the assets that are required for the migration. So here you can just check that it uh, takes everything that's necessary for the pop-up system. Uh, then you're simply going to hit okay. And then you're going to navigate to the folder of the project that you wanna use this pop-up system in. And then inside of that project folder, you go to the content folder. And over there you click on select folder. Then on the bottom right, you should get this message content migration successfully. All right, at that point you can close the pop-up system uh, and you can then go into my project and then open up your own project just like this. All right, then once you are inside of your project and uh, then if you look inside of your content browser, then over here you can see the pop-up system and this is basically all you need in order to make it work in your project. Okay, so how do the pop-ups actually work? Well, inside of the Blueprint folder here, we have a function library and that function library is responsible for actually creating your pop-ups. So what you can do to create them is that you can type anywhere in your project, you can type create pop-up one, two, three, or four, or you can type create notification. So let's look at the pop-ups first. Inside of the pop-up system folder, we have a little maps folder with a little preview map. And if we hit play here, then we see that this is simply a background with a little pop-up uh, with a little pop-up creator that I created. So over here, uh, you can select the type of pop-up that you want. So for instance, pop-up one, you can set the title text, you can set a description text, the left button text and right button text. You can then simply hit create and the pop-up will appear. Then if you click on the left button and on the right button inside of this widget, it's automatically programmed that whatever button you click, it will always remove the pop-up. So basically if I hit decline here, it will remove the pop-up. And if I hit accept here, it will also remove the pop-up. In a little bit, we're going to take a look at how we can actually program the buttons so that they actually have functionality and do something. So let's say this would say quit game for example, and it says, are you sure you want to quit the game? Yes, quit game. Then this button on the left here, we would want to program that. So in a little bit, we're gonna take a look at that. Uh, we also have pop-up two here, for example, this one is centered. Uh, you can also select the pop-up type so we can have a general pop-up, we can have a system message, we can have a warning, and we can also have an error. Uh, and then there's just different layouts. So there's also pop-up four like this, for example. Uh, and then what you can do is that if you leave, for instance, on pop-up two, if you leave the right button text empty and then create it, then it will only create the left button automatically. Um, all right, and then what we have here is notifications. So for notifications as well, you can select the type of notification. So for instance, a system notification, and then you can have the notification have a title and a description, and then the notification will pop up here on the bottom right in your screen. Uh, you can also remove the title for notification, and then it will simply only pop up the message that you have typed in there. Okay, so let's take a look at how we can actually use these and call these notifications and pop-ups from within our project. So for this, I'm going to go over to the third person maps and go to the default third person map. Uh, and what I've done here is inside of the level blueprint of the third person map, I set up that we create a little widget called widget blueprint HUD. And all this widget is, is a simple quit game button and a create notification button, and they have not yet been programmed. So if we click on the quit game button and click on event here and then on the create notification button and also click on the on clicked event here uh, then we can actually start to program these so right now as you see if i hit play it will simply have these buttons here and when i click them nothing happens so yeah for instance if we qu click on the quit game button we want that pop up to appear that says are you sure you wish to quit the game so let's take a look at how something like that is done so that all you have to do basically to create a pop-up is that you right click somewhere in any event graphs. This can either be in your player controller, your character, your widgets. And here you simply type create 
pop up. And then as you see here, we have a couple of different types of pop ups. So for this one, I'm going to simply select pop up one here. Uh, and then this will create the actual pop up. So let's attach it here. And then we have a couple of values here that we can fill in. So the pop up title, let's make it quit game. And then the description we can type here. Are you sure you wish to quit the game question mark. And then on the left button here, we say quit game. And on the right button here, we say stay. And we want this pop up to be of the type system. All right, so right now, if we hit play and I click on this button, then this quit game message appears here. But then if I hit on quit, it simply removes the pop up and it doesn't actually quit the game. And if I hit stay, it also removes the pop up and doesn't do any additional logic. So how can we then actually code that left button in this case? Well, that's very simple. Um, for the left and right buttons, we have the same event. And what you can do here is from this widget reference, you can basically drag off and you can type bind on clicked and then here you have two options. So you can bind the on clicked event for the left button, or you can bind the on clicked event for the right button. In this case, we want the left button that says quit game to do something. So we're going to select bind event to on clicked left. If you also wish to program your right button, then you would simply also drag off of here and type in here bind on clicked and a right button. And then here you can also code your right button. Uh, and then how does this work? Well, basically when these left and right buttons are pressed inside of that widget, it fires off a dispatcher. And this dispatcher here, we can actually bind it to an event. So the way to do that is that first we need to have an event. So if we type in custom event, we can then call this one quit game. So this is our custom event that is supposed to quit the game. And when this event is fired, we actually want to call the Unreal Engine function called quit game, which actually quits the game. Uh, and now we want to bind this quit game event to this binding here. So the way to do that is that you drag off of here and you say create event. You get this little K2 delicate node. And in here, you can then select your event that you created. So in this case, it's quit game. So even then type in quit game. Now this binding of the left button is bound to this quit game event. The right button here is not necessary. So this is it. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this out now. So if I hit play, we can then click on quit game. If I hit stay, we simply stay in the game. And then if I do quit game and hit quit, it actually quits the game. All right, so now that you understand how you can actually program the left and right button, you can do this pretty much for any of the pop-ups. So simply type in create pop-up, create pop-up four, and all of these pop-ups would work the same way. Okay, then let's take a look at how we can create notifications. So on click of the notification here, we wanna actually create a notification. Well, for notifications to work, we actually need to add one additional widget element. So if we click on the pop-up system here and go over to widgets, then inside of this preview widget here, we can see how we set up this demo. So here you can also go to the event graph and you can see how we create a pop-up here or create a notification. But essentially the widget element that we need to add here is this widget blueprint notification panel. And all it really is, it's a simple vertical box that we need to add to the widget where we wanna show our notifications. So inside of this widget folder, we have this widget blueprint notification. This is the actual notification that gets created. And over here we have a widget blueprint notification panel. And this one we simply need to add to our UI. So back inside of the third person folder here, we go to our widget blueprint hood. Uh, we can go over to the designer and then the elements that we need to drag in here. If we scroll on the left all the way here to the bottom, click on user created. Then over here we see widget blueprint notification panel. And this is essentially the panel that will uh, hold all of your created notifications. So the first thing you're gonna do when you drag it in is you're gonna select size to content and then you're gonna set it somewhere in a corner. So I'm gonna set it here in the bottom right corner and I'm gonna set the position here minus 50 minus 50 so that it's neatly anchored here to the bottom right. Okay, so once that notification panel is in, then you go back to your event graph and then wherever you want to create your notification, you can simply right click and type in create notification. You will then get this little function here from the function library. And then over here, you can set your notification title. So I can say title here. And then I can say, for instance, you have picked up five points. And I want this to be a system message and I want this 
notification to show for five seconds, for example. So right now, if I hit play and click on create notification, you see that it gets created here nice on the bottom right with my title and with my text in it. I can also leave out the title because we do not always need that. So it can also be something like this. And then if I hit create notification, there you go. It will create those notifications for us. And automatically after the five second duration that we installed, it will also remove them. All right, guys, this is pretty much it for uh, how you can actually create these pop-ups and then also program them and how you can actually use the notifications from this neat pop-up system. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this product. Have a good day. Bye-bye.